I think it's the right decision. Um, you know, I think we kind of anticipated it. Caitlin Smith understands why the governor decided to keep schools closed and finish the year through remote learning. It's a challenge, though, juggling work and guiding her three young kids. My children, it was, you know, they were excited. They were home. Everybody's in the same house. Everybody's getting more time, you know, to, to play. Um, but I think the novelty is wearing off, and I think the concern is going through the rest of the school year. Each district has control over its program, but the state is encouraging a move to a pass-fail grading system to help students and families. Concord High will give them a choice, a pass-fail option, or take the grade that the student actually earned. What I'm hearing from a lot of folks is we've never been this connected with families before because we're talking to not only the student, but we're talking to the family as well. Interim Superintendent Frank Bass says students are rising to the challenge, finding new creative ways to learn. We've got kids that are actually doing a newspaper at the elementary level. They've created a newspaper. Sununu saying it was a tough but necessary move. Graduation is not going to look like it, it does for them uh, as it did for, for maybe, maybe their friends that had come before them, senior prom, all those types of things, uh, unfortunately, are going to look very, very different. Well, school may not look the same in September either. Sununu says it'll need to include opportunities for students who fell behind in remote learning to catch up in the fall. Reporting live in Concord, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.